What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share one simple trick I used to be very consistent with my good habits. Now we all know that we should have good habits. We know that we should probably exercise every day and eat healthier. And you know, maybe there's a bunch of things, a bunch of goals that we have and a bunch of things that we know we have to do to get to those goals. But of course the hard part is actually doing that, actually sticking to the plan. Developing a plan itself is not that complicated. If you have goals, you can just break them down into smaller pieces. It's sticking to the plan that a lot of people have trouble with, including myself. I used to have this ambition to meditate every single day, but I would meditate maybe four days in a row and then I wouldn't for two or three. And then I'd meditate for another two or three days and then I'd miss a day and then I'd meditate for a day or two and then I'd miss three days and then I'd meditate for a week straight. And it was very just on and off. You get the point. You probably resonate with this on some level for one or more of your good habits that you're trying to implement. I used to have so much trouble with sticking to even just that one habit until I started using this one trick that I'm going to share with you in this video. Now, over the last 280 days, I've maybe missed one or two days of meditation. That is the most consistent over a year or so that I have ever been in my life. And it really is thanks to this one simple trick. Not only has my meditation practice gotten better and more consistent, but I have been very consistent with five really good habits that I know I want to be doing every single day because of this one trick. Those five habits are taking a cold shower every single morning, exercising every single day, even on my rest days, you know, on some level, just get some exercise in, reading, meditating, and working towards developing my business. This one trick has gotten me a 90% consistency rate on doing these habits every single day, all five of them. And realistically, if we're looking at every habit individually, it's a lot higher than 90%. The way I'm getting that number 90% is that if a day goes by where I didn't do all five, I don't count that day. So let's say uh, I do four out of five of those habits every day for 10 days, that would be zero out of 10. But realistically, that's still 80%. So I'm, I'm kind of being hard on myself with the way that I'm quantifying this and the way that I'm measuring this uh habit consistency here. And even still, my number is 90%, all thanks to this simple trick that without further ado, I will share with you. It's so simple that like you might even get pissed off from me sharing this, but it's so valuable, it's so effective. You just have to implement it. You just have to do it. My one simple trick is that I've been using a habit tracking calendar. That's it. And I'll break down how it is that I use it. So here's the calendar. I literally just drew out this calendar. You can print one if you have a printer. And on the bottom of the sheet of paper, write out your habits that you want to be doing every single day. Now, if you don't know what those good habits are, if you're watching this video and, and you like the idea of developing good habits, but you don't know what they are, go check out my video right here on getting to know your non-negotiables. And that will give you some guidance on how to pick the habits that you want to implement. So once you have your good habits, what you're gonna do well, you know, you could pick three, four, five. If you're feeling ambitious, you could pick six or seven, whatever. If you have your non-negotiable habits, you're going to write them down on the bottom of that sheet of paper just as a visual uh, cue so you see them. You're going to put this calendar somewhere that you are going to walk by multiple times a day. A really good place to put it is the fridge. I have mine uh, on my fridge with some magnets. Then what you're going to do is every single day that you check off each one of those habits, you've done all five or all four or however many you have, you're going to put a line through the box that represents that day. And then you're going to do it again the next day. And then you're going to do it again the next day. And as you string days together, you're going to start a streak and you're not going to want to break that streak. So doing this is like building in a reward system. It's going to feel good. You're going to feel confident about yourself to draw that line through the box. And on top of being a reward system, which is going to be much more likely to get you to engage in your habits more often, 
This habit calendar is also going to be acting as a cue. And cue is one of the important phases in habit development. If you want to build a habit, you have to try to build cues around that habit. And if you want to break a bad habit, try to get rid of the cues. So when you see this calendar on your fridge every time you walk by it, it's going to be a cue for you to do those good habits on your list. You're going to walk by the calendar. Okay, I have 10 minutes right now. Now's a good time to meditate. You're going to walk by the calendar. Oh yeah, I didn't get my workout in today yet. Let's go ahead and do that. You're going to walk by the calendar. Okay, I should read a chapter of my book. It's going to be a cue for you to do that. And then at the end of the day, once you've done all those things, you're going to go ahead and put a line through that box. It's going to be a reward. So now what you're doing is you're finding another way to make your habits attractive. And this is a lot more effective than you think. So it's going to serve you as a reminder. It's going to serve you as a cue to do your good habits. And it's going to serve you as a reward system. Putting these things together makes this calendar very, very powerful at getting you to be consistent with your good habits. All it takes is a couple minutes to draw one of these things out or go ahead and print one out from your computer and then just get some magnets and put it on your fridge. It is so ridiculous the difference that I have seen in my consistency with these good habits after simply putting this freaking calendar on my fridge. It actually made me have a little bit of an existential crisis of like what kind of biological wiring do I have that this is all it takes, that this little simple trick has me being so much more consistent with my habits now. And because I've used this calendar and developed these habits, most of the time, it truly has become rather habitual for me to perform these tasks. I don't really think about it much. But on the days that I'm having resistance to it, on the days that I'm feeling lazy, and it's not really feeling like something that's been built in as a habit, because a habit is something you do without even thinking about, right? On the days where it doesn't feel like a habit, and I'm thinking about it, and I'm not wanting to do it, this calendar, as stupid as it is, actually gets me to pull through and do it because I'm like, ah, oh, I don't want to break my streak. I have like 14 days in a row right now. I don't want to lose that streak. Like, I, you know, I've been working towards that for the last two weeks. So this is just one simple trick that I've used to be very consistent with my habits. And it really helped me with my habit formation, getting these tasks into a place where they more or less feel like habits. And even when they don't feel like habits, it's kept me on track. As silly as it is, this little visual cue and little reward system has proven to be really effective. Uh, I want to shout out James Clear. I got this from his book, Atomic Habits. And uh, I think it's a really great book. It's a very simple read. It has a lot of very elementary teachings, so to speak. Like this isn't anything that's too complicated. It almost seems silly because of how simple it is but it's so effective. Like oftentimes we overlook these simple little pieces of advice and we don't actually implement them and then we don't see the results because of it. So I'm telling you, if you're trying to be more consistent with your habits, do this and you will see results. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below after you have, I'd be interested to know. So if you want to learn more about habits and you want to take more of an in-depth look at them, I have a few other videos on this topic. I'll link them in the description below. And I highly recommend reading James Clear's book, Atomic Habits, to really dive into this topic a little bit more. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good one.